It's long been known that in America, the rich often don't pay their fair share of taxes. By exploiting a complex tax system filled with loopholes, the richest 1% pay a lot less than the average taxpayer. But how do they do it? And could I learn their tricks to help out the everyday taxpayer like you and I? I spoke to tax expert Robert Wood of tax firm Wood LLP to find out the easiest ways to dodge the IRS. His first tip? Real estate, big tax shelter. So generally speaking, you write off a piece of the building every year. So on like this year, I'll claim the bathroom. And then like, like the next year. But, but just to clarify, you only get to do this if you own the building, not that you work here. That is all very interesting, but I do not own the building. So I'm back to square one. Charity is another one. Mm -hmm. So let's say I start a charity and, I, and my yeah. charity will be real, very real, okay? My charity of broke ass audits. Like you get an audited, Let's break off your broke ass a little cash, right? There are lots of people who've gotten in trouble with fake charities. So that won't work. Churches are qualified charities, which is why some people have tried to start their own churches. So if I start my own church, I mean, how many followers are we talking? I, I don't think they call them followers, but I, I don't know. Oh, that's right, that's like a cult thing. Another thing that wealthy people do mm -hmm. You've got art, how much is it worth? Donate it to charity. And if you donate it, how much can you fairly write off? Um, I have some artwork I, that I want to show you. And don't hold back. Okay, no offense, but I mean, it looks kind of infantile. My guess is it's not worth very much. You need to talk to somebody who's a qualified art appraiser. I was really banking on the art thing working out. You're just not there yet, Josh. This was not looking good for my tax return, but the, there had to be something. One of my great tax planning secrets for you today is dying. If you own stock, or if you owned a house at some point, hang on to it. It's the doing something with it, selling, that triggers tax. Then when you die, it's never taxed. So dying turns out to be tax efficient. That's something that wealthy people count on. That's know. deferring, right? Yeah. Couldn't I just defer till I die? Yeah. Okay, so kill myself. That's great, uh, great advice. I want you to die generations from now. Thank you. It's a better tax deal anyways. Well, wow, okay. Um, I do have a quick question for you then. Since the rich are deferring on all these assets and they've hired tax lawyers to make sure that it stays complicated and they're less likely to get audited, yeah. who is paying tax? Regular wage earners. I mean, everybody okay. pays tax if they've got income. And the wealthy people are paying tax too, but if you look at their income versus how much tax they're paying, yeah. they're typically paying a lot lower rates. So if we all learn the tax law and we all yeah. start doing these things, how will like roads get built? Good question. Somebody at the lower end has to be paying the regular taxes to make room for the government to do those things. Just don't be poor. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's terrifying. The more you know about tax, the more terrifying it can be. That's why I don't sleep very much. So whether I become rich or just die, at least I know how to avoid my taxes like a millionaire. I'm mad. I do actually need your help picking this up. This is like yeah, all the money that I have. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't really. I'm not really taking any of it. No, no, I, I didn't think you were going to take it.